let us imagine four friends went to play in a chess tournament jack jill david and rose now jack scored 0 out of 6 against rated players out of 6 games against rated players he scored 0 points jill scored 3 out of 6 against rated players david scored 4 out of 6 against rated players and rose scored 2 out of 6 against rated players now in each of these scenarios let us understand how was rating calculated the criteria to get initial fide rating are one play minimum 5 rated games two score at least 0.5 points in rated games and three minimum rating of 1000 so the rated games are basically games played against rated opponents games against unrated players are not counted for the calculation of initial fide rating or change in fide rating so once you played minimum 5 rated games and scored at least 0.5 points in those rated games then your performance will be considered for rating calculation and once that calculation is done and if your rating is above 1000 as a result of those calculation 1000 or above then you will get your initial fide rating this is how jack performed in the tournament out of the 9 rounds in 3 rounds he played rated opponents but he could not win against any of them or draw against any of them so against rated opponents he scored 0 out of 3 the points against unrated do not matter for anything involving rating only the games with rated opponents are considered uh, for rating calculation so jack did not score even half a point against rated opponents and therefore his performance is not counted so jack's rating is zero his initial rating is not yet in place because he hasn't scored 0.5 minimum against a rated opponent and additionally he also hasn't faced enough number of rated opponents you need to play minimum 5 rated games to have your rating so because jack did not satisfy both of those criteria jack's rating is not considered now jill played 9 games and out of those 9 she played 6 rated games she faced 6 rated opponents so she satisfies the fri- first criteria which is minimum 5 games against rated opponents and she also scored 3 points against rated opponents 3 out of 6 so that means a fide rating is confirmed now her performance is considered for the calculation how do we calculate that initial rating let us see step 1 is calculating the rating average the rating average is basically the total of your opponent's rating divided by the number of rated rounds so she played 6 rated games against these opponents so total is 8063 divided by 6 so the rating average of jill comes to 1344 right so this is always the first step when you calculate rating now let's go to step 2 we have to identify which category she falls in is your is her rating performance 50 percentage or less than 50 percentage or greater than less than 50 percentage or greater than 50 percentage so against rated she scored 3 points out of 6 which is exactly 50 percentage right so she falls in this category a points percentage falls in this category so if her if your uh, points is exactly half of the total rounds which means your rating performance is 50 percentage then your initial fide rating is the same as your rating average so as for jill her percentage was exactly 50 percentage therefore her rating initial rating is the same as her rating average so it is 1344 so jill's fide rating after this tournament would be published as 1344 so congrats jill david scored 4 points against rated opponents out of 6 rated games he scored 4 and uh, that means his fide rating is confirmed right now how do we calculate it is first step is as always the same we calculate the rating average the total divided by 6 which is the number of rated games and that comes to 1376 so rating average of 
David is 1376. Step two, we identify which percentage category he falls in. Does he fall in the 50 percentage or less than 50 percentage or in the greater than 50 percentage? He scored four. So if he scored three, it would be exactly 50 percentage. He scored four. That means he is in the second category, greater than 50 percentage. So if, if your rating performance is in greater than 50 percentage, then we have to follow two different steps. Very small, simple steps, but still we have to follow this if your rating percentage is greater than 50 percentage. So step three, you have to find out the multiplication factor. So multiplication factor is basically the difference by 0.5. The difference of his, his score minus the half of the rounds. So his score is four. Half of the rounds is six by two, three. So difference is four minus three, one. One by 0.5, two. So the multiplication factor of David is two. Now step four, we multiply by 20 for the extra points. So extra points is what we need to calculate. That is multiplication factor into 20. Multiplication factor we got in step three, that is two into 20 is equal to 40. So now to calculate David's initial rating, we add up the rating average, which is 1376 and the extra points, which is 40. And it comes to 1416. So because David falls in the greater than 50 percentage category, we have to add up the rating points and the extra points, the rating per average and the extra points. And how do you calculate extra points? Multiplication factor into two. Here, multiplication factor is two into 240. So after the calculation, we get 1416 as the initial failure rating of David. Rose scored two points against six rated opponents. So two out of six rated games. So her rating is confirmed as long as the rating comes to above 1000, then it is confirmed. Now, as always, step one is calculating the rating average, which is the sum of all her opponents rating by six, right? So 8436 by six, 1406. That is Rose's rating average. We'll keep that on the side. Second step is identifying which category she falls in. Equal to 50 percentage, greater than 50 percentage, or less than 50 percentage. Three out of six would be 50 percentage, right? That was Jill's score. Two out of six is less than 50 percentage. So she falls in the less than 50 percentage category, in which case we have to find out her DP value. Now, before we go to DP value, let's first divide the points by rounds. So her score is two and rounds is six. So two by six comes to 0.33. Now, based on this value, we have to figure out the DP value associated with this. So DP value is basically rating difference. And you can find that in the FIDE handbook. In the FIDE handbook on section 8.1, you will see the DP value table. This is available in all FIDE arbiter manuals. And I will also share the link for this manual in the description. So basically we have to check for 0.33, what is the DP value? You see it right here. It is minus 125. So DP value for 0.33 is minus 125. So Rose's initial rating is calculated as rating average minus DP value, DP table value. So 1406, the rating average minus 125, which is 1281. So this is actually a simple process. We just have to find out the DP value associated with her points divided by rounds. And that comes to 1281. So Rose's initial rating would be 1281. So this is how the final rating calculation of all the four friends of ours look like. So Jack does not get his initial rating. Jill gets an initial rating of 1344. David gets, gets an initial rating of 1416 because he scored more than the average, four out of six. Rose scored less than the average, two out of six. So she gets the initial rating of 1281. I hope you found this video useful and I believe you can now calculate a FIDE rating, FIDE initial rating without any difficulty. And if you like the video and found it helpful, please hit the subscribe button and I'll post more videos of this kind.